The following question, past paper question, deals with the Hess law. And the question states that ethanol is increasingly being used as fuels for cars. And uh, the standard enthalpy change of formation of carbon dioxide is given. It's minus 392, uh, 93 kilojoules per mole. So that is known. So you know the you know the enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide that's known uh, the other information that's given in the question is that the standard enthalpy change of formation of water is also known that's given as minus 286 kilojoules per mole so that is also known and you're also given the standard enthalpy change of formation of ethanol so uh, you're given uh, three enthalpies of formation of ethanol of uh, water and of carbon dioxide and the values are also given what you are asked is what is the standard enthalpy change of combustion of ethanol so that's that's your main question so you are asked what is the standard enthalpy change of combustion of ethanol now what is ethanol ethanol is c2h5oh and he's talking about the standard enthalpy change of combustion of ethanol, which means that it's going to burn in excess oxygen, completely burn and produce uh, carbon dioxide, CO2, and H2O, which is water. And we're going to balance this equation. If you balance this equation, uh, there would be uh, two CO2 molecules, and there would be three H2O molecules. And if you total the oxygens, they are four plus three, that's... A total of seven oxygens on the right hand side and there's one oxygen already over there so there would be three O2 oxygen molecules so uh, the standard enthalpy change of combustion of ethanol is when one mole of ethanol completely burns in excess oxygen produce carbon dioxide and water and they must be in this standard state which means that ethanol is a liquid O2 is a gas and CO2 is also a gas at room temperature and H2O is a liquid. So the information that's provided to us is that we know the standard enthalpy change of, of formation of carbon dioxide. So we know we know what uh, the enthalpy of formation, or we can call that delta HF of CO2 is. So that is known, and we know the value. Uh, we're also we also aware of the enthalpy change of formation of water. That's also known. So delta HF of water is also known so these two things are known the third thing that we know is the standard enthalpy change of formation of ethanol so that is also known so delta hf for ethanol is known what is not given is the enthalpy of formation of o2 remember o2 is is uh, is an element and elements uh, are not formed from anything so you don't need anything to form o2 so stand the enthalpies of formation of o2 is always going to be zero because you're not going to do anything to form it so this is also known so we are, we uh, have uh, an equation we need to figure out the enthalpy of that particular reaction we need to find the enthalpy change for this reaction and what is known is that we know the enthalpies of formation of the reactants and we also know the enthalpy of formation of the product so we're going to use the formula which is that the enthalpy of the reaction and we're talking about the above reaction so the enthalpy of this entire reaction is going to be what you're going to do is you're going to uh, sum up the enthalpies of formation of products so you're going to sum them up and you're going to subtract them from the enthalpies of formation of the reactants So we're going to use this formula, the Hess cycle, Hess law formula, that when uh, the enthalpies of formation of all the reactants and all the products are known, simply add up the enthalpies of the formation of products and subtract them from the enthalpies of formation of the reactants. So let's uh, start a calculation now. So it's basically uh, the enthalpy of formation of products. So it's going to be two. Uh, let's sum up the products. So it's two uh, times enthalpy of formation of CO2 because there are two CO2 molecules and enthalpy of formation of CO2 is minus 393 so that's minus 393 multiplied by 2 plus I'm going to add the other product is uh, H2O and there are three water molecules so enthalpy of formation of H2O would be multiplied by 3 so it would be 3 times uh, 
minus 286 enthalpy of formation of H2O is minus 286 of water is minus 286 so this these are my enthalpies of formation of products and I'm going to subtract uh, the enthalpy of formation of reactants there's only one ethanol so the enthalpy of formation of ethanol is minus 277 so that's minus 277 plus the enthalpy the other rea other reactant is O2 and remember the elements have uh, the elements always have enthalpy of formation equal to zero so that's uh, zero so this is my expression I need to solve this expression on my calculator so using my calculator I'm going to try and calculate the final answer for this question and the final answer using my calculator, remember, whenever you're solving energetics uh, questions, be very, very careful with these signs. Uh, uh, remember to put brackets in your calculator if you're, if you're not sure uh, how your calculator is going to respond. Always break your calculations up in tinier chunks so that you get uh, a proper value because calculators, uh, a lot of calculators, a lot of different calculators operate in different ways. So uh, be very careful with these signs. Uh, if you got, get any sign wrong, the Winchell answer is going to be incorrect. So using my calculator, the answer for this question comes out to be, it comes out to be minus 1367 kilojoules per mole, which according to uh, the options is going to be option it's going to be option B. So option B is the correct answer for this question.